billions of dollars for education in our state. The governor made his pitch today. Thanks for joining us. 530. I'm Alan Devlin and I'm Tracy Hutchins. Well, during his state of the state address, he called on boosting teacher pay and increasing school security across the state. Democrats say that's simply not enough. Line of News first reporter Abby Kasouris is live at the state capitol for us. Abby. Yes, well, there are 1.7 million students enrolled in Georgia's public schools. Both parties say it's important to invest in those students, but they're divided on how. <laughs> Governor Brian Kemp announced another $2,000 raise for educators to address the teacher shortage in his state of the state address. We will have given hardworking ed educators a $7,000 pay raise in just five years. No other General Assembly or governor will have raised teacher pay by so much so quickly in state history. A study from the Professional Association of Georgia Educators reports 82% of schools are short on teachers and 20% want to leave the profession in the next five years. Lisa Morgan, kindergarten teacher and president of the Georgia Association of Educators, said the raises don't address the issues of teachers leaving the profession. We became educators not to get rich but to um, work with children, work with our students. A Georgia Department of Education study shows the top reasons why teachers are leaving, including a lack of benefits, too much added administrative duties, and a lack of voice in their schools. It's important that we lead the way because our children are our future. State Democrats want an even larger pay increase that stretches beyond the classroom. They're calling for $10,000 raises for all education employees. It's like bus drivers, persons like cafeteria workers, we need to make sure that they're also taken care of. We Senator sure Harold Jones says with his proposal, the money would come out of the state's $6.6 .6 billion surplus. Is no greater investment to Georgia's economy than to invest in our children. And one of the areas where lawmakers are looking for improvements is in workforce development. Both Democrats and Republicans say that it's important to invest in K-12 education to train the next generation of workers. In Atlanta, Abby Kasouris, Atlanta News First. Abby, thank you. Well, the